Hi, Karen here with a follow-up to my rather embarrassing Facebook post that I have actually been cutting my own hair off and on since I was 18. Though right now, maybe not so embarrassing with this lockdown crisis. Well, the biggest question that I got was, how the heck do I cut the back of my hair? Well, my answer, not very well, but I manage. So this is my offering to represent this horrible situation we find ourselves in. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should start cutting their own hair. Geez, I would love to find a great salon and stylist that I could feel comfortable with. I can only do this one style, and I would love to try different styles, but that is beyond my meager skill. I've always loved having someone else do my hair, but due to my annoying anxiety issues, and bad experiences, including a rather traumatic one that involved my daughter. Ah, oh, I keep going back to cutting it myself. So my tools. I have a, a cape, you know, or you can use a towel, anything to, you know, keep the hair off your back. I have a pair of scissors, and these are my father's. They're probably 50, 60 years old. Um, done well. Uh, and a comb. This again, this may be as old as those scissors. As you can see, I've bought many other replacements and nothing has been as good as this. Um, and also a styling brush. Uh, what I do is uh, I want a uh, wash and go hot style. I use this to see which way my hair grows because uh, basically I want to wash my hair, blow it dry, two minutes, and go. So, first off, this was a really big help to me when I, I found this out. If you could see this. Not not a bad, <laughs> not a here. How, how about that? Okay, what it is, is you imagine your head like as if you put your, you know, the little kids that put their hand on the Van de Graaff generator and they have very fine hair and it all sticks out straight in all, all areas. That's what you envision when you cut your hair. Now this is the one style. I have short hair, I have layered hair, and this is how I do it. And you basically just, you want to cut your hair exactly so it uh, parallels the shape of your head and and then down here. So this is, this is what, this is very good that I keep this in my mind when I'm doing it. And uh, that, that, this is, this is it. This is it. If you think about this and you, you cut according to this. Okay, and now you will go on to see me actually trying to do this. So here goes. Thanks. I wanted to get a quick idea of the technique, the very quickly, the technique that you use it. It's really not that hard. Um, what you do is you use your fingers as your guide and you pull your hair up like this and you basically, where your fingers want to go, that's where you want to cut. And that's the, that's the whole, uh, that's the whole basis. And then you go a little bit farther and, and I mean, if you're, if you're getting a precision cut, you know, they're going to do this a lot more. I, I, here, see, just like that. You just follow it along like that. And that's the whole, that is the whole idea behind this. It's nothing harder than that. You just use your fingers to, like that. Use your fingers and you just use your fingers as a guide as far as you want. And you just use, and, and when you pull the hair up from before, you get uh, the, the uh, how long you made the other hairs, and you just you just keep them all the same length all the way back. And one more time, use your fingers as a guide. It takes a little practice. I've been doing this a while. And there. And that is how you do that. First off, I start with a bowl cut, a modified bowl cut. Fortunately, I already um, cut my hair, so I'm not going to be able to cut much. But basically what I start with is I pull the hair all down, round like this, That's how, because that's how the style I want. And I start with my bangs. And uh, do remember, especially if your hair is somewhat curly, that when it dries, uh, it's going to be a lot shorter, so it, you can always uh, 
always cut more, but you can't add it back later. So be, uh, and I just go around and just kind of frame my face like this. And then I don't like when the wind blows the hair into my eyes. So I like to go down the sides and again, just framing my face. And I keep going, keep going down. And I do that on the other side as well. You can see I already did it. I already cut it like this. And then a lot of you asked how I do the back. Well, one of the things, that, that's why it has to be longer in the back. Uh, so what I do is I pull the hair down like this, if you could see, and so that I could see it. And then I just trim it here, and that's the start. I want it all to be about that length, so I pull a little bit more with the hair I've already cut. And I just make sure that it's, oh, there's a little bit. I can cut a little bit there, okay? And then I go off to the middle, pull some more. So I have to be able, you have to be able to see it to do this. You just pull it out right there, make it the same length, and then you go to the other side. And I pull it out here. There, you can sort of see there's the little thing sticking out there. And I just try to make it the same length all the way around. Oh, there's a little bit. See? Just make it all the same length. And that's how I start. Okay. The next step, what I do is I comb my hair all back. Oh, and by the way, I do, I do wet my hair during the... when I do the bowl cut. I do wet it, uh, but because... And then sort of it's drying now, and that's fine because that's how I know. Since I'm, I'm not, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I just kind of cut it as I see it. So my hair is starting to dry the way it, it actually uh, will fall when it dries. Okay. Then what I do from here is I start down the middle. Again, this is just starting, and you can see here. And I just go all the way back. And I just and I just use you, you get you grab a little bit of hair from what you did before. And this is not precision by any means, you know, because if you went when you go to an actual hairstylist, you know they're going to take a lot longer to do this. But this is fine for my purposes. And I go all the way back. See there, there's a big one. And I just cut it. Now. Here's the thing, and I comb my hair back, and then if you want to have shorter hair, what I do is I just go around, and then just imagine that, you know, you put your hand on one of those Van de Graaff generators and it went whew, like that, and I just go around like this. And I use the, the middle part as my, my guide. Like here, I could, I could actually cut some here. And then go around. See? See that? Okay, so I'm just cutting it around. Just try, just starting, you know, the part that I cut before, I use that as a guide. And I go all the way around. Like such. And again, how to do the back. I start, you know, I, I go all the way back and I just, there's a little bit, I could do that. I just keep pulling. I use my guide that I just cut. And of course the back is not going to be perfect. But I just keep pulling it out. Cutting. Getting some more in the back. And I have to be able to see it. So that's why the back is a little bit longer. There you can see that. And I keep going. Pull some more in the back. And I pull it out. And 
And I just keep going, take the bottom. I could see it. There's a little bit right there. Clip it. The same thing. The back. There, that's something I could do here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. There. And you just use what you, the first part you cut as a guide. I do it <laughs> and then I let it dry and and then after like at the end you might if this looks a little bit like one side is longer than the other I just kind of like that noticed I just looked and I saw this is longer than this so you can and you got to be careful with this because I get obsessive if, if they're not even and I know they're not going to be even because I'm not a professional hairstylist but if one side is definitely longer you just go back here and you see oh uh, yeah 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 see that's all that needs to be trimmed let's see if that helps And also in my case, there, let's go here, okay, there, there, and there. So the two sides are a little more even. And that's how it ends up. That's what I do. So I offer it to you for whatever it's worth. Thank you.